It stayed up all week long, he and his friends, late into every night, with candles and Ella, raccoon and the stones, drank coffee and laughed. And when he was alone with Helen, she read from his journal. There was nothing he wanted to hide from her. She either liked him or not, and she liked him. Your writing is so descriptive, she said. That's what everyone tells me. Don't you think so? I guess. You take it for granted? Nah, writing's my rock. Maybe crushed to water when I'm long beneath the earth, but for now, it is a rock. It's the one rock I'm dependent on that I don't fear being dashed against. The descriptions, I love the descriptions, she says. You love me more than your paper and ink will? Don't ask me that, Helen. Don't ask me how I love you. But how do you love me? Helen, he said fiercely. Then he saw the fear in her eyes and the tone of his voice changed. Helen, I love you. Chapter 14 Lance was on his way toward the man-made reefs of steel and automobile parts dumped off the coast of Alabama in the Gulf of Mexico. He could not rest and went on. Not until he lay back and smoked with some old friends in St. Petersburg at La Poinciana with its whitewashed stucco and palms evenly spaced along the side of a quiet road eight blocks from the ocean. These were the palms he had tried to capture. Will would miss him terribly. Lance woke the next morning unable to swallow and by noon his friends drove him to the beach with ginger ale, aspirin, and throat spray. And he felt feverish as they lay out in the sun and borrowed the keys to the car to drive himself to the hospital where his temperature read 102. And he waited beside the younger sisters and mother of a boy who had fallen out of a tree and tried not to swallow his own saliva. The girls shied away from his eyes. They were scared of him. Excuse me, little girl, he asked one of them. Do you mind telling me what type of tree your brother fell from? The girl hid behind her sister, who answered him. Palm tree, mister. He emptied his pockets, took off his shirt, and the nurse helped him into a gown that tied at the back. He lay down as he was told and waited for Tylenol. He was helpless like a child, but safe and then stood up against the table with his back to the nurse while she proceeded to shoot him up with amoxicillin. The palm trees grew taller in his imagination and a hurricane made them dance like mad. He sat beneath them and cupped his hands to the drum to the tempo of the storm.